Continuing coverage tonight of the ongoing water crisis in Benton Harbor. Work to remove and replace all lead tainted water lines in the city is still ongoing. Well, Michael Martin sat down this afternoon with one of the men who has led the push for clean and safe water to hear how things are going as we head into winter. It was only back at the start of November that the state started the long and arduous process of removing and replacing all of the lead water lines here in the city of Benton Harbor. But for Reverend Edward Pinckney, that process is simply going too slow. We're hidden in the right direction, but we must continue to make sure that they're doing the things that they need to. Reverend Edward Pinckney has been working nonstop for the past two and a half years to ensure the people living in Benton Harbor have access to clean and safe water. If we get this thing right, you know, uh, and it's gonna be some challenges, but if we get it right, this could be the model all across the country. The group he heads, the Benton Harbor Community Water Council, identified lead in the city's tap water years ago. But just months ago, the state of Michigan finally acknowledged their water was potentially unsafe to drink or use and committed to an 18-month timeline of removing and replacing all of their lead water lines. At the rate they're going now, um, it might take them two, three years. Governor Whitmer was on hand November 8th as the first pipe was replaced, but Reverend Pinckney doesn't believe the work is happening fast enough. Slow, extremely slow, which, you know, the weather could, could be a factor of that too. On Friday, the State Department of Health and Human Services canceled their daily water bottle distribution site because of the weather. Reverend Pinckney and his volunteers have been passing out free water bottles for the past two and a half years. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday was very, very difficult. It, uh, but everybody showed up. The wind was blowing, the lake, the, 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 uh, the lake effect snow was coming in, and they showed up. So while things are happening, Reverend Pinckney knows their community has to keep the momentum going and he hopes the state will step up and do more. Benton Harbor is a very, very poor community. Yid and Steel, for three years, they had to pay their water bill or have their water cut out. And I think the governor should come in and say, well, hey, nobody should be paying water bills in the city of Benton Harbor. And also, uh, we're gonna give you a voucher for, for if it's not three years, at least two years. Now, we did reach out to Eagle, the state agency in charge of this whole project of removing and replacing the water lines to see if there really were any serious delays caused by the weather right now. We haven't yet heard back, but we'll bring you that info when we get it. For now, in Benton Harbor, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.